the west of Ireland, the rugged coastline, the wild Atlantic way, the last stop before America, and if I may say, one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. I love it here, and I want Ellie to love it too, to treasure it because it is a treasure. Claire, Sligo, Donegal. Oh yes, and Mayo. Oh, the green and red of Mayo, I can see it still. Like loads of people, I have been to Sligo a hundred times, same with Galway. And then you've got Mayo, big Mayo sitting in the middle of it all, which tends to get overlooked. And it's a bit like being picked glass for the football team. Although I've been told, no mention of football in Mayo. Zip it. And not very many people travel to the corner in the north tucked away in Eris. So that's where I'm heading to now and uh, I'm going to show you what you've been missing out on. This is Bell Mullet, a perfect place to base yourself for exploring North Mayo. Four hours from Dublin and about an hour from Ballina. Here's another tractor. <laughs> Fifteen minutes south of Belmullet is our home for the night, but the road has run out onto a beach. Driving the camper van is one thing. Driving the camper van on sand, I was not expecting, but it's compact enough, it seems. That's Claggan Island. We've only got a window here. Tide is in at five. And once you're there, that's it. The better get going. Look at us, we're driving on the beach. Well, I can only assume you're the Howards. Yeah. So I'm in the right place. Clagan Island has been home to the Howard family for four generations. Belmullet Coast Guard Station is also part of the farm and there are also two self-catering accommodation pods along with lots and lots of animals. My hubby Porig is proud of his Mayo roots and so he's joined us on the last leg of our journey. Is that for breakfast in the morning? Yeah. I think the key to making a place like this a success is finding the balance a product that people are going to love and that's less is more. We get a lot of feedback, oh you could fill 10 more, why don't you have more? But like you'd lose what you have if you did that. Just having two of them, it's special. I have to say I'm mightily impressed. I think the fact that the ceiling is so high makes it feel bigger than it is as well. And outside fire on that view, it's beautiful isn't it? There is nothing to do but just embrace the emptiness. This is just as important, this sort of solitude. This is mindfulness. Like you don't need an app or a life coach. You just need like a big woolly jumper and that view. of the county and we're off to the southeast corner of the peninsula. I've never been to Black Sod Bay, absolutely stunning, like just beautiful white sandy beaches and the colour of the water is insane, all the different blues. We're going to jump in a boat, get out onto that water and uh, go exploring. Sean Lavelle along with his kids Josh and Kia run boat tours from Black Sod Pier. It's the perfect way to explore this incredible coastline. But you'll have to source your own food now. Hold on now. This way? Hey, just up this bit face. Oh, this way up. Woo! Ellie, those fish, they're dancing. Oh, there's some weight in that. Come on, Ellie. Oh, it's a big one. Woo! We landed on Inishki Island, and while the boys set up the barbecue for the fish we caught, Kia shows me around. When did your great-great-grandfather 
moved off here? Uh, so they would have moved off in 1931. Okay. This was the school. It was uh, opened in 1898. Before the school was built on the island, uh, the children of Inniski were educated from home. Do you love being a tour guide? Yeah, I really enjoy it. And I love telling people about uh, the history that I know about the island. Honestly, I'm blown away. I've been to the Aran Islands and I've been onto the Blaskets and Skelligs. This is on a par with them. I couldn't think of a better way to finish that day. Barbecued mackerel, caught by all of us, we should say. <laughs> okay, say cheers to the guys, Ellie. Cheers. 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 Hearing I was in the area, an old friend got in touch and asked would I come visit him in Sligo. So we crossed the border in county for a day trip. <laughs> you, have it all, you have it all under control. How are we all? You have it all under control. I'm Social right. distance and bump. How you How's doing? life? Good, good. Hi, buddy. Look at the hair. Nobody needed a barber during lockdown. No, we've Nobody all, we've needed all a barber grown during it. lockdown. So, Keen, living somewhere like this during lockdown yeah. must have been a bloody godsend. When the lockdown came, everything closed, but obviously this remained the same. Me and my older boy, Cora, we surfed practically every day. But in a weird way, you know, it was it was a special time that I don't think we'll ever get again. Sure. You okay. know? This summer has been about creating memories for kids yeah. because a lot of people who never have holidayed in Ireland before are now making that choice. Absolutely. And like here in Ireland, like really, when the sun is shining, there isn't anywhere better in the whole world. I mean, it's a beautiful place to be. beautiful country in the world. 